Hey, what's up for everybody? This is Vincent CTK. In my last video, I did a quick unboxing of the Black Shot 3 Pro. And I did promise you guys I will do a full review of this phone. And yes, here I am. Let's get started. First of all, I would like to make some benchmark tests with Geekbench and Entoto. Let's begin. A single core score 898 and multi core score 2898. And now it's time for the N22. The Entoto score 576,178. The Black Shot 3 Pro comes with a massive 7.1 inch AMOLED display, fully 120 by 1440p, with an aspect ratio of 90.5 by 9, almost 20 by 9. This gives it a pixel density of 483 ppi. It has a peak brightness of 500 nits, cover up to 97% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. The Black Shot 3 Pro also has a 90Hz refresh rate with 270Hz touch sensing. To be honest with you guys, playing games and watching videos on this phone is an absolute joy. The color accuracy is great, super vibrant, super sharp. Brightness could do a little bit better, but 500 nits still manageable for everyday tasks. 2K resolution, high refresh rate, this is the display which most people are looking for. So overall, an excellent display. So how was the audio? Let's take a listen to that. Overall, I think it sounds pretty good and they can get fairly loud as well. The mids and highs are great, but the loads just sounds a bit muffled. Does it make it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. They are still great speakers, especially they are fun firing, so when you game or watching videos, your hand won't cover it up. Cameras. I think I will just skip it for this review because I will make a separate video to do a comparison with my iPhone 11. The reason for that is they have very similar camera setup, a standard wide and an ultra wide. So I think it will be interesting to do a camera comparison. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned. So how to become a gamer with some style? The RGB indicator light is the best way to showcase that. Just go to settings, special feature, light, light effect editor, and you got a bunch of options to choose from. So now you can showcase a bit more of your personality and style. How cool is that? Alright, let's do some gaming, shall we? But first of all, I would like to show you how to enable the master button so first you have to launch a game go to settings controls and customize from here you can drag down from the top right or the left corner to enable the master button mode so in here you can disable or enable the pop-up buttons and you can also set it automatically raise up when you launch the game so here i have set it for the left one for aiming right one for shooting that's for me you can set it up whatever you want it but for me left for aim right for shoot once you're done just exit 
and saved it and you're ready to game. In this video, I will quickly demonstrate three games, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, and Atmosphere 9. I won't go through the whole match of each game, but if you would like to watch the whole demonstration of each game, I have posted a separate video just for that. Just me gaming, no talking. Link in the description. Gaming on the Black Shot Repo is an awesome experience. It took me a little while to get used to the extra buttons, but once I get used to it, I start to improve my gaming performance. All the games I played are all in the highest settings and still run smooth like butter. And not to mention, they have done very well with the thermals, I can barely feel the phone ease warming up. No doubt one of the best gaming phones in 2020. But if you have something better, please tell me in the comment section down below. Last but not least, I would like to do a 65W charging test as the official website claimed that it could charge from 50 to 100 in 12 minutes and 0 to 100 just 38 minutes. If that is true, it will be insanely fast and I'm going to find out. My Black Shot battery level is 49% right now. I'm going to set a stopwatch for 12 minutes and see if it can reach to 100 by then. Let's do it. Alright, so the 12 minutes is up and the result is 84%. Still have 16 to go. Not quite what they said on the website, but still 35% gain in 12 minutes is still incredible. And now come to the question, should you buy this phone or not? If you ask me if you're a gamer looking for a new gaming smartphone in 2020, easy recommendation. Yes, get the Black Shot 3 Pro. It's the best one right now you can get in the market. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any of my new videos. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.